こんにちは、みなさん。Okay, so I thought maybe I should go back to square one with Japanese. So, the book I've been learning from for the last few years or so, which honestly I've gone to a lot of media sources and everything, but the book I mainly think about is the book called Yokoso. And、um, in this book, you learn a whole lot. So, I'm going to start with lesson one and go through all of them with you. But I highly recommend buying this book because I can't give out any copies of this book because it's copyrighted. So I will not be scanning any pages. But I'll be making my own worksheets for you to work with. But yeah. So I can't do anything before, you all any, before anybody asks.、I'm、not doing it. It's illegal. So、um, the first step is introducing yourself. Part one the objectives. Meeting others and inter introducing yourself. Everyday greetings,、um, classroom expressions, and the Japanese writing system, which I already have a video on the hiragana. If you look through, you'll find it. I'll post a link below. Okay,、um, so here are these two students introducing themselves. Hajimemoshite, Kawamura des. Hajimemoshite, Brown des. どうぞよろしく。どうぞよろしく。We we simple. Alrighty. So um, here is a language note. Romanization. Romanization is a transcription of Japanese using romaji. Romaji is the English letters instead of this is the thing that we read and not them. So below, instead of saying hiragana in letters that we can read. It's in scribble scribble that we don't understand until we actually study Japanese. Hiragana. So, yes.、Um, in Japan, only words you see written in romaji are station names for the sake of foreigners, us,、um, trademarks, ad catchphrases, and the like. In this textbook, romanization is used only as an aid for the beginning student. So, this whole book doesn't completely always go in. In the English, in, in the Romaji, because it'll change. It'll completely change because you will be expected to know it, as my videos will too. So, yes. Desu, D E S U. And obviously, like in when the Japanese are speaking, you know, like they'll say, this is like they'll hear it say, okay, I'm gonna put my name in there, Emily. Emily Des. You might hear it as Des, but that's because they're saying it fast. Or, yes, it, it all depends on what part of Japan you're in. So, yes,、um, study hints, working in pairs or groups. How important is that? Incredibly important. You're not going to get anything done with doing it on yourself. I mean, you can do it by yourself, but honestly, it takes more. You've got to really practice it. If you want to learn, you're not going to learn by yourself, which is my struggle because. I don't have very many people to work with. Although, now I'm teaching some people at、um, my school, so it'll be better. Because most of you do not have many opportunities to speak regularly with native or near native speakers of Japanese, your Japanese class is the most important place to practice speaking Japanese. This textbook includes many activities in which you practice using Japanese with your classmates in pairs or in groups. When working in pairs or groups, first find out the objective of a given activity. And then work together to accomplish that、uh, objective by using Japanese. Try to express yourself as much as possible using what you already know.、And、if you have any questions, ask your partners, which you're going to have to find some partners because obviously I can't provide those. Or your instructor. You can always ask me, I don't mind, but you know, I'll try to get back to you. Honestly, not many people message me, so that's pretty easy. If a partner has difficulties, Help them out. Pair or group activities in the classroom probably present the most uh, important uh, opportunities for you to practice speaking Japanese. Try to avoid chatting in English. Ooh, that's a good one. Learn all the vocab that you need to know so that you can speak Japanese all the time. Like, and speak and actually try. Like, when you have to go to the bathroom, ask someone in Japanese to go to the bathroom. <laughs> But, anyways,、um, there are some good websites that. Help you, people will actually help you speak Japanese, and I will post those below as well. Um, 
Okay, activity one. Using dialogue one as a mo model, introduce yourself and meet as many classmates as you can. Circulate through the classroom and write down your their names. Well, get a group together, study Japanese together, and if not, do it with your stuffed animals. Pretend like they all have different names. So, okay, here is a dialogue, and I'll be posting. Okay, this is Brown. Brown, basically. Sumimasen, shin san desu ka? Hai, so desu. Brown desu. Hajimemashite, dozo ryoshiku. Shin desu. Hajimemashite, dozo ryoshiku. Sumimasen is an expression of apology corresponding to the English I'm sorry or excuse me. It is frequently used to attract someone's attention or express ex appreciation. In the latter case, thank you is a closer English equivalent. To form a simple yes-no question in Japanese, add ka to the end of a statement with, in, with a raising intonation. I desu ka? I desu ka? That's saying, are you, is it good? You know, it's just, that's the example of raising intonation. Um, ka will take a place of a question mark. So when you're writing Japanese, you really don't need to put a question mark at the end. But you can if you want. I mean, they understand. Culture notes. When Japanese give their full names, they say their family name first and given name last. Japanese do not have middle names. So, yeah. Japanese typically introduce themselves with their family name alone and address others except close friends and family members by family name. Followed by a respectful title. Now, by the way, with that, if you're English and you go there, they pretty much know to call you by their, your first name. When I go to Japan, nobody calls me Asuki-san. They say Emiri-san. Everybody does. Everybody. It's just weird to call me by my last name. It's just, no, it's not part of our culture. So they know pretty much that they won't call you that. But, I mean, I've never run into, run into anybody who did, so... And to be honest, I've caught a lot of people by their first names too. But then again, that where I was was like a really fa family friendly type of place, so I don't know. But anyways, um, um, for now, the only titles you need to know are son, which is what I just said, Mr. and Miss for your friends or classmate, and sensei for professor for your instructor. Never attach these titles to your own name. You need to make sure that you respect everyone else, but don't show respect to yourself. And because it's part of their culture, they say things, they're always like really respectful to everyone else, but to yourself, you put yourself down because you're trying to show they're better than you. Um, here's about how to inquire, dialogue three, inquiring about someone's name. John Kawamura is looking for Masao Hayashi. Sumimasen, Hayashi-san desu ka? Okay, activity two. Practice dialogues two and three with several classmates using your own names. Do you remember your classmates' names from activity one? Dialogue four. Asking for someone's name. Linda Brown and Mei Lin Chin are getting acquainted. Hajimemashite Brown desu onomai wa Chin desu. Notice language note informal questions. Notice that the question on the my wa does not end in a ka. Informal Japanese questions end in ka, but in informal, colloquial si si style of speech questions are often abbreviated. On the my wa is short for on the my wa non deska, and which literally translates as, as for your name, what is it? Here is a very little, literal translation of dialogue four. Um, on the my wa, that's your name, and then Chin says, Chin des is Chin. Notice how Brown began, began the sentence and Chin finished it. This is common um, 
in Japanese conversation. Begin an active listener when speaking Japanese. Being an active listener when speaking Japanese is important. Dialogue 5, using a name card, which would be really fun to make. I'll show you how to do that later. Linda Brown is meeting her neighbor, Yoichi Takada. Hajimemashite Tokyo Daigaku no Brown desu. Hajimemashite Sony no Takara desu. Kore, watashi no meishi desu. Domo arigato gozaimasu. Kore, watashi no meishi desu. Domo arigato gozaimasu. When introduce yourself in Japanese, in Japan, it is often to state your affiliation. Japanese tend to identify strongly with the group that they belong in, their in-group, and are more interested in knowing someone's affiliation and rank. You can tell a lot about someone from his or her affiliation and rank. Stating affiliation also helps get a conversation going by giving your conversational, conversational partner something to ask you about. To clarify your affiliation, say, Company slash school, no, last name, desu. I am name of institution. Here's an example. To Tokyo Daigaku no Kawamura desu. I am Kawamura of University of Tokyo. You may also hand, um, hand your name card in silence while lightly bowing. All right. So that's it. The next video will tell you how to make um, name cards, which is also part of lesson one. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you practice because this is a very, very simple lesson and you should be able to get through this without studying too much. You just have to memorize the introductions and I'm sure you'll get through it. Um, my favorite introduction, the way I introduce myself to people, here's what I would say. Hajimemashite, watashi no namai wa Emily desu. Yoroshiku onegashimasu. So yes, that's how I say it. Um, gambate ne, minasan, and good luck and have a great day. Bye.